Good evening and welcome to everyone. You join us for this T20 between the Kolkata Kits and the Bangalore Crowns. I'm Mike Atherton and with me in the commentary box today is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy and the irrepressible David Gower. Thanks others, we're almost ready to get underway. I've been down in the middle looking at conditions. And you'll be looking at plenty of runs on this pitch, not much fun for the bowlers. It's a perfect day for cricket, absolutely no doubt about that, not a cloud in the sky. Brilliant work there from David Gower. Let's join them in the middle to find out who'll be fielding first. The captain showing a lot of confidence in their bowling attack with that decision. The opening batters will be feeling very confident looking at this wicket. Ready for the first ball here in the commentary box. What should be an enthralling contest between these two teams. Wait! Couldn't get it through the field. Didn't hit that well, very late playing that shot. Yeah! Well timed, but there's a fielder out there. There'll be one run here for them. The Knight Riders get started with one. I'm extremely excited to see how this match progresses. Two sides that are really aggressive. A lot of pressure coming to the crease. Not had the best of weeks leading up to this game and will want to show everyone their strength. Dives and takes a very good catch. It's the sort of dismissal that sees the momentum swing back to the bowler. Gone, but not for many. Difficult period as they come to the wicket. They'll take plenty of time to set themselves up before facing their first ball. Finds the fielder with that shot. Not a great delivery, got it full and lucky not to be hit to the boundary. Well placed. Should get a single. Exquisitely down the front foot, a gorgeous looking drive. Could have been worth more. Found the gap with ease, wasn't the worst ball you'll see, but it's still raced to the rope. End of the over, six runs coming from it. The Knight Riders are one for six. Going with pace now. Yep. They'll get at least one. Wait on. Straight to the fielder. Yeah, yeah. Did well just to get it down towards third for some runs. Oh. Nice shot, runs possible. Great shot, at least one on offer. 
I, for one, reckon that second run was on, but clearly the batters knew better. Oh. There'll be runs here. Got forward well and was able to drive the ball. A lovely shot and good running. Collects that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. End of the over, a good one in terms of keeping the batters quiet. Just needed to take a wicket to make it an excellent one. Hazelwood from the north end. Ease through the field, there'll be runs here. Driven off the front foot, fantastic cricket shot. Probably expected more there. A little late on that, no run scored. You can't hit the ball much better than that. Timed it to perfection. Boundary off the last ball. What's to come off this delivery, I wonder? Good piece of fielding to stop some runs. Wait on. This is everything. Nice Hazelwood is looking good. Found some rhythm, really challenging the batter now. That's the end of a very good over. Good pressure being put on the batters. on the drive a bit of frustration after that shot went after it but just couldn't lay a bat on it yeah yeah super shot had all the time in the world to get in position to play that ball timed it nicely for four runs Doesn't beat the infield. No runs on that occasion. Got into position nicely, just too early on the shot. Couldn't find a gap. Yep. Not taken. A boundary, but not a convincing one. Nothing really wrong with the delivery. Got onto the front foot and found the space to get that one to the boundary. giving them absolutely nothing here at the moment. Another over gone, and not much from it. Yep, nicked it, but that's going all the way. Didn't time it at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. A wonderful delivery to get the edge. You've got to keep hammering away at that spot time and again. Finds the edge. Just through the shot too early. Brilliant bowling. Having got the edge the previous ball, they now know the areas they need to be hitting. Oh. Off the edge. Could be four. Let's see if they can get the ball up into the slot like before. So crucial to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Edged it. Now then, was there a faint edge? Out. Pretty straightforward catch in the end. 
An innings that promised much and really, in the end, delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. The team will be after a positive innings from this batter. A great opportunity to come in and put some runs on the board. They'll push hard, should get back for two. He was just a little bit too full, and it was beautifully timed. Twelve runs added there. The Knight Riders are two for 37. Waiting. Quick onto that in the infield. Timing just a little early on that occasion. Wait on. Unable to get the scoreboard moving. Yep. Middle that one. Great timing. Came forward under the front foot and eased it away to the boundary. Just need to keep it simple. Line and length around about off stump, and that'll force the mistake. Wait on. Maybe they didn't pick it up. Very late on the shot. Drives and misses everything. That's a wild one. Nothing elegant about that shot. Just not timing it at all. Poor play. End of the over. Four runs coming from it. The Knight Riders are two for 41. Three more fielders can be moved outside the circle. There's a run here, surely. Seems slightly odd not just to take the single that was on offer there. Yeah. Just a little bit wide, well picked up. And let the ball do all the work, really, just to nudge it down towards third. Good catch, yeah! out. This innings just cut short before it really flourished. It looked like we're moving to a big, big score, but it's not to be. Yep, yep. Timed it nicely. They'll look for a couple, you'd think. A couple on offer here. Surprised they didn't go for a third. Would have been a very simple run. Wait on. Can't get that outside the ring field. Hazelwood getting a wicket in that over. Really great bowling. There wasn't much on offer to the batters. Maybe they didn't pick it up. Very late on the shot. Yep. And with that, they're off the mark. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great last ball to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Edge! Amazing delivery! Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot. Yep, yep. Edge! What a ball! Over. The Knight Riders are three for 50.
Willie, the left arm pace bowler, is. Ahmed, the left arm orthodox bowler, is coming into the attack from the north end. It looked a pretty good delivery, to be honest. Umpire, though, has given it as a wide. shot what a lovely shot really good timing out of the middle and it raced to the boundary yep. very quick out there managing to stop it and preventing four runs Decisive running might have gotten to. Uh, looking back at it, I'd say they'd have made it easily. So in the end, poor running. Yep. Nice shot. And that brings up the batsman's half century. Really good innings to bring up the half century. Impressive batting, and they'll want to push on from here. Last over of this innings, no point defending now. Precision in that shot. Got the head right in line with the ball. A beautiful strike there down the ground. It can be very disheartening seeing good deliveries smacked around. Sometimes you've just got to accept it and move on. Yep. Chance to run two. They find themselves seven wickets down. It's about now you need someone to stand up and stick around at the crease. So they get off the mark. Really raced between the wickets after it was clipped away nicely behind square. End of the over. Eight runs coming from it. The Knight Riders are seven for 149. And that's the end of the innings. The Royal Challengers have been set a target of 150 runs. Didn't get anywhere near the first ball of the innings. Looking to get the innings started? Just can't get it away. Nicely played. Well, that was a really solid shot. Read the length early to get onto the front foot, and that raced away for four. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have been really happy with that last shot. Yep. That's great fielding. That ball was flying.
Allen comes out to bat in a bit of form, but it'll be interesting to see how they go today. That's right out of the middle of the bat. Really just seemed to have put that one into the slot with the first ball to the new batter. All the same, it's a glorious shot for your first ball. You can see how good this pitch can be for batting. You want the player coming forward, but it's a tight margin. Only a touch full and put away. Yep. Got that away nicely. Everything was right about it. The footwork to get back and then the bat coming through the ball beautifully. Wonderful batting at the moment. Back-to-back -back boundaries, putting the pressure on the bowler to respond. Dismisses that for four. A bit of West Indian flair to that. Avoided the fielders, one bounce and four. Fantastic shot. End of the over. The Royal Challengers are none for 70. A new bowler is coming into the attack. Hit that hard, nailed it. That was a very well-timed shot off the back foot. Saw it really early and it was dispatched with ease. Yeah, yeah. They'd look for a couple here. Good return there, back from the deep. That's off the middle of the bat. Well, it was hammered away, timed perfectly and placed into the gap. I'd like to see them aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Fantastic running, great communication between the two of them. No bat though, that'll be leg buys. Effortless, a gift yep. really. Floated it up there and dealt with. Just perfection, a majestic shot. You just cannot hit it any better than that. Raced away to the boundary. That last ball isn't something you'd want to see a repeat of. You don't want to be giving easy runs away. Brilliant shot, that. Fine placement and enough timing to get that ball away to the boundary. Playing all their shots in that over, a very expensive over. Ferguson, the right armour, is coming into the attack from the north end. Thought it got past them, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. They make it back, but that was much closer than it needed to be. Yep. No. They make it home, but there should never have been the chance of a run out in the first place. for six swatted the short ball away all the way for six a little short on that occasion needs to adjust the length slightly to be just a little fuller too short on this pitch and as we've seen already it makes it very easy to score A really good 50 partnership. These two are looking strong and it's going to take something special to break it up. Yeah, yeah. Great shot, 
great timing. Got to get the length right, the line right. It was all wrong. Crashed away for four. A good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball, and it'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. Yep. Right off the middle of the bat. Short and crunched away. Only had to ease back onto the back foot and put it away. Questions will begin to be asked. Should the captain make a change? A big over that one. Too many loose deliveries. Southey, the pace bowler, coming into the attack. Great timing, right off the meat of the bat. Just a little bit of room given. The power was immense. That has flown over the boundary. Super piece of timing. That's what you pay the entrance money for. It's flown into the crowd. A brilliant shot off the front foot. No need to move. Back-to-back -back boundaries. The bowler will be searching for something now. Just a dot ball or two to settle things down. That is a gorgeous shot, straight through the covers. You could see by how it whistled away to the boundary just how sweetly this was timed. Boundary off the last ball. Is it a sign they're trying to push the run rate? Good bit of timing there. That was a massive shot, middled, and it flew over the boundary. Brilliant stuff. Tried for something a bit different, the last ball. The captain shouldn't mind that. If they get it right, they might just get the wicket. Time that brilliantly. Off the front foot, hit it with all the power and elegance of a batter, right at the top of their game. Yeah, yeah. Great shot. Placement exquisite. Got it well enough to get it away to the boundary, a poor delivery and a fine shot in the end. Ferguson from the north end. Picks the gap perfectly. This batter really is the key now, picking up the boundaries when they need them, just the sort of thing the team needs. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key. Yes. Gets onto the back foot quickly, and that's just flown. Well, it's a case of blinking, you miss it with this innings. 50 brought up, and what a devastating passage of play it's been. Yeah, yeah. Strokes it languidly away to the fence. A lovely shot. There was minimal follow-through, just great timing to punch it through the field for four. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket will come. Good shot, it's found the gap. No trouble at all to punch it away to the boundary for four, a poor delivery. They shouldn't get too discouraged with that last ball. The first step as a bowler is to get the batter playing, which they've managed. If they can find the right spot, the reward will eventually come. You can't fault that shot. Nicely played, and it was four runs all the way. Ferguson shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots, just need to tighten their areas now. That's an unbelievable shot into the crowd. Just missed the line, not the worst delivery, but that was dispatched with interest. Everyone just watch that in awe.
into the gap. Nice shot. And that brings up the batsman's half century. Well, that's the 50. Blink and you'd miss it. There has been some really good batting strokes. Just masterful play. Oh my, that's just flown off the middle. Just missed the line. Not the worst delivery, but that was dispatched with interest. Everyone just watched that and awe. Two boundaries in a row. Time to just focus on line and length again. Goes up and over for six. That's the positive option. Well, that was just textbook. Gets under it and with enough power lifts that ball over the top and it just keeps going. Duplessis has got the big shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. Right in the slot, right where they like it. The ball races to the boundary. That is a difficult shot to get right. Straight back at the bowler with a lot of pace and the boundary fielder had no chance. Couldn't have hit that any better. Punched out of the middle of the bat with great timing. It's raced to the boundary. Boundary off the last ball. What's to come off this delivery, I wonder? Yep. Good piece of fielding to stop some runs. That was a solid shot. Driven off the front foot. Fantastic cricket shot. Probably deserved more from it. End of the over. End of the restrictions. I'm sure there'll be some big fielding changes coming. The Knight Riders are now allowed five fielders outside the circle. And that marks the end of the match. From the moment the openers walked onto the ground, you felt they knew it was their day. A huge win and fully deserved. Well, that was a really one-sided contest. The result never looking in doubt at all. Hope you enjoyed the coverage. See you again soon.